Punks and Tails here at the World Darts Championship. Mark Webster, th Mark Webster through to the next round. Mark, you started really well. It looked pretty calm up there, averaging around about 100. It sort of came off a little bit. What would you put that down to? Yeah, it, it was. I've said to the other guys, it was nerves. It was a guy who hasn't won a big game for a while. I'm not going to worry about that. A 100 average becomes an 85 average in free darts. You miss doubles, so I'm not going to read too much into that. I felt good. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm glad to win a game and I'm looking forward to the next game. You mentioned missing doubles and, and, and the next game against Phil Taylor. H hitting doubles is going to be key, obviously, against him. Yeah, of course, it's just a no-brainer, but I've got a week now to rectify. A week's a long time in darts. Regardless if it's Christmas week, I, I don't care if I have to make the sacrifice, so I'll practice doubles. But it's, it's just relaxing when you're going for him. I'll be more relaxed next game because I've won a game. I haven't won a game for a while. I haven't been on the screens for a while, so I'm not going to read too much into it. And, Let's get on with it next Sunday. So you just think getting out there and getting that win under your belt is a massive thing for you and should help you perform better in the next one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we were talking about my average slumped about 82 in the end, but um, if I'd have lost up there with 100 average, I know how I'd have felt now. I'm, I'm pleased. You know, I mean, it, it was. I've had technical issues this year, and I'm glad that I've addressed them and that's the start. I was about to bring up the technical issues that you have spoken about in the past. What have you been doing to sort of rectify those and give yourself that confidence to get out there and go again? Yeah, yeah I've just worked hard. It's as simple as. I mean. If, you, if you're throwing well, your practice finishes this. When you've got technical issues, your practice getting the technique right. So let's compare a player like Phil who's just been fine. I'm just trying to get technical things right. So I don't care what I hit. I just want that on my hand, how I like it, whether it hits a one, triple 20. And that's what I did for three months. So, so I'm a bit behind where I want to be. I, I want to be a bit superior at the rankings, but patient. You, Sometimes you've got to take a step backwards to go forwards, and that's what I'm doing now. Getting over the line at the end there took a bit of a time. What was going through your head? <laughs> yeah, I, I was just thinking, Webby, what a clown. This is what you do all the time. You did it last year. I did it against Ian White a few years ago. Just get it done, but hey, stepping up after you've missed nine downs, a double tip, double one, it shows something, regardless of the stats, like we said, it, it does show something. I've got something, and I, I, I know I'm a better player than what my ranking represents at the minute, but we've got to prove it. Well, congratulations on making it through. Hey. Enjoy your Christmas. Well, dear, and uh, we'll see you after the field today, match. Well done, mate. Yeah, you enjoy yours well. There cheers, you go. Cheers. Tongues and tails here at the World Darts Championship. Keeping the sharp end of World Darts.